What's up, Zach? Coming back at you with another video. We're going to continue our talk on money. And now that you know that money is energy and you know the difference between spending and investing and the difference between an asset and a liability, we're going to get down today on this video on um, things you should ask yourself before you make any purchase. Um, now, you're going to be bombarded by television, radio, newspaper, internet, social media sites, all these advertisers are trying to get your money and they do it in a sneaky way to where sometimes you don't even realize they're doing it. So there's a couple things you always want to ask yourself before buying anything. So a good question to ask yourself before you make any purchase to make sure that you're making wise use of your money and your resources is, is it a need or a want? So that's really an important question to ask yourself before you buy anything. Now need versus want. Now, a lot of times needs are, can be assets. You know, we told you the definition yesterday, we talked about, you know, an asset puts money in your pocket um, and a liability takes money out of your pocket. So oftentimes wants are liabilities. So, but not always, not everything is an asset or liability. So let's go down here. So let's think of uh, some examples of needs. So you need food, you need water, you need clothing, and you need a house. Now you have all four of these things. Now these things are an asset in the sense that they're helping you to live a better life. So in that version, it is an asset. So they're not exactly putting money in your pocket, but these are assets. Now look at, let's look at what a want is. Now a want might be, let's look at the opposite of food. A want might be eating out instead of eating at home. So it's more expensive to eat out than it is to buy your groceries and eat at home. So a want would be eating out. So let's look at this RO machine. Now you've got water in your house coming out your tap, um, but a want might be, you might want cleaner water, healthier water. So an RO machine would be a want, not necessarily a need. Um, down here, let's say clothing. Let's say you already have a winter coat, but maybe you want a second winter coat that's maybe a different color or something like that. So a second coat, that would be a want. Now, as far as a house, um, some people have vacation homes, like they might have a home on the lake. So a second house would be a want versus a need. Now, all these wants down here are liabilities. They're essentially gonna take money out of your pocket, but that doesn't necessarily make them bad. Um, you know, your RO machine, it's clearly more beneficial health-wise for you to have reverse osmosis water than it is, like you said, drinking water out of the hose, you know, essentially tap water. So this one, even though it's a liability, it doesn't make it bad. So not all liabilities are bad. Um, and these assets, these up here aren't truly assets because they're not really putting money in your pocket, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't benefit your life. And same with these liabilities down here. You know, a second home on a lake might be really beneficial to you one day. Maybe that's something that you want. And as long as you can afford these liabilities and these liabilities don't take control of your finances, they're perfectly all right to have. So I really want you to think about this before you spend your money. Because a lot of times we spend our money and we don't really think about it. And then maybe after we buy something, after the newness is wore off, we kind of think to ourselves, oh, I don't even really want this thing anymore. I probably shouldn't have bought it. So a good question to ask yourself before you buy anything is, is it a need or is it a want? If it's a need, you should always just go ahead and buy it because it's something you need. But if it's a want, you should ask yourself, well, how bad do I want this? Can I afford this? Is this a wise decision? So just a, another example of things that build on top of your financial education that hopefully these videos are giving you. So come back tomorrow with another video. Hope you find this well. See you tomorrow.